What makes you happy? Is it your family or your loved ones? Is it money or is it simply peace of mind? You see, the Stoics of old, like Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus, had a different definition of true happiness. They didn't see happiness the way the media portrays it today or the way most people see happiness. So the question is, how can you be actually happy the way the Stoics were? Today, we are going to share with you tested Stoic principles that can help you become actually happier in 2024. These principles are so powerful, so practical, that even if you choose to apply just two of them, they would change your life forever. So buckle up and stay attentive because this is going to be a life-changing experience. Let our journey begin. 1. Stop doubting yourself. Start believing. Doubt is a formidable foe, often lurking in our minds like an unwelcome guest. But here's the catch. It's not about completely eradicating doubt, it's about managing it with a stoic mindset. You see, even the stoics weren't immune to self-doubt, but they knew the art of harnessing it. Take Marcus Aurelius, for instance, a man who ruled an empire yet found time to question and counsel himself. His approach wasn't about ignoring doubt, but about challenging it. He asked, is this thought beneficial? Does it improve or hinder my life? This is a cue for us. When doubt creeps in, we can confront it with these questions, transforming it from an obstacle into a tool for self-reflection and growth. It's humorous, in a way, how we often magnify our doubts while the solutions are simpler than we think. Aurelius mused, our life is what our thoughts make it. These words aren't just poetic, they're a practical mantra. Picture this. You're about to start a new project or take up a new hobby. Doubt whispers, you can't. Here's where you flip the script. Acknowledge the doubt, then counter it with evidence of your past successes, however small they might seem. This simple act of self-belief can be the first step toward a happier you. Remember, happiness doesn't come from the absence of doubt but from your ability to believe in yourself despite it. 2. Reflect on your life Have you ever paused your Netflix binge to wonder, is this it? Let's be real. Reflecting on your life doesn't mean you have to climb a mountain and meditate. It's about taking a moment, maybe while you're sipping your morning coffee, to ask yourself some serious questions. You can ask yourself questions like, what makes me get out of bed every morning? Or why do I act the way I do? Now imagine your life as a movie. Would you watch it or would you doze off before the opening credits end? Reflecting isn't about being harsh on yourself. It's about being honest. If your daily routine were a YouTube video, would you hit the like button or scroll past it? Remember, you're the director of this show. It's in your hands to make it binge worthy. Okay, let's talk dreams. Not the weird ones about showing up to work in your pajamas, but your real, I want this so bad dreams. Are they sitting on a shelf collecting dust? It's time to dust them off. Break them down into steps as simple as your morning to-do list. Think about it. If you can remember to charge your phone every night, you can definitely take small steps towards your dreams. Your life story is yours to write, so make it one you'd love to tell. Three, focus on what you can control. Life's unpredictability can sometimes feel overwhelming, but there's a secret to staying serene. Focus on what you can control. Just like when you're playing a video game, you can't control the design of the levels or the behavior of other players, but you can master your moves. Similarly, in life, concentrate on your actions, thoughts, and attitudes. These are your joystick and buttons. Use them wisely. Seneca, a well-known Stoic philosopher once found himself exiled. Most would see exile as a loss of control, but not Seneca. He turned inward, focusing on his writing and thoughts, cultivating his inner garden. This wasn't a retreat, but a strategic focus on what he could control. His writings from this period are a testament to the power of directing energy where it matters most. It's a lesson as relevant today as it was in ancient Rome. Some things are in our control and others not. This quote often attributed to Epictetus encapsulates the essence of Stoicism. Epictetus himself knew the limits of his control, 
and focused instead on his inner life, thoughts, and responses. In embracing this philosophy, we too can become not just happier, but also more content and resilient, just as he was amidst life's chaos. Remember, it's not about controlling the storm, but about learning to dance in the rain. 4. Be kind to others. There is a famous saying, you get what you give. Imagine throwing a pebble into a lake. The ripples it creates spread far and wide, reaching places the pebble never could. That's the power of doing good to others. Every small act of kindness, whether it's holding the door for someone or sharing a smile, creates ripples in the world around us. It's not about grand gestures. It's the everyday kindness that truly counts. By making someone else's day a little brighter, we inadvertently light up our own. Now here's the catch. The good you do often finds its way back to you, but not always in the way you expect. It's like throwing a boomerang of kindness. It will return sometimes in the form of a thankful smile, other times as a helping hand when you least expect it. This isn't about keeping score, but rather understanding that our actions contribute to a kinder, more compassionate world. And in this world, happiness finds a fertile ground to grow. Seneca, who understood the power of benevolence, once said, Wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. Seneca didn't just preach, he practiced generosity and kindness, often advising and helping others without expecting anything in return. His life teaches us that true happiness doesn't come from what we acquire, but from what we give. Let's walk into 2024 with open hearts, ready to spread kindness. After all, a good deed is a step towards a happier life. 5. Do less good. Ever tried juggling? Start with too many balls and they all end up on the floor. Life's a bit like that. Trying to do everything often leads to achieving little. The key lies in doing less, but doing it better. It's not about the quantity of tasks, but the quality of your engagement. Choose a few things that truly matter to you and give them your all. This focused approach not only enhances your skills, but also brings a deeper sense of satisfaction and accomplishment. Simplifying life isn't about having less. It's about having more of what counts. Trim down your to-do list to the essentials, like a sculptor chiseling away the excess to reveal a beautiful statue. Remove the unnecessary from your life to uncover your true priorities. This clarity leads to action, and action leads to happiness. By focusing on fewer things, you can channel your energy more effectively, making each effort count. Marcus Aurelius once said, Concentrate every minute like a Roman on doing what's in front of you, with precise and genuine seriousness. He was not just a ruler of an empire, but also a ruler of his time and focus. He prioritized, deliberated, and acted with intention. In our pursuit of happiness, let's remember his wisdom. By focusing on doing less but doing it better, we open ourselves to a world of excellence and contentment. So let's narrow our gaze to broaden our impact. 6. Be grateful. Let's take a moment and think about gratitude. You know, it's like finding a $5 bill in your old jacket. It was always there, but the moment you find it, your day gets a little brighter. That's what gratitude does to life. It's about appreciating the small things. A warm cup of coffee, a text from a friend, the sunset. When you start noticing and being thankful for these moments, life suddenly becomes richer. It's not about waiting for big things to happen. It's about finding joy in the ordinary. Now, how do you make gratitude a habit? It's actually simple. You could keep a gratitude journal. Each night, jot down something you were grateful for that day. It could be as simple as enjoying a quiet moment or as big as achieving a personal goal. This practice shifts your focus from what's missing to what's present in your life. And trust me, the more you look for things to be grateful for, the more you find them. Epictetus once remarked, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he is not, but rejoices for those which he has. This man found richness in his simple, constrained life by focusing on what he had, not what he lacked. 
his message to us in 2024. Let's embrace gratitude. By recognizing and cherishing the abundance in our lives, we open doors to happiness and contentment. It is important to keep in mind that it's not happiness that brings gratitude, but gratitude that brings happiness. 7. Stop seeking external approval. Quest for external approval. It's like chasing a shadow that always eludes us. Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that's surprisingly relevant in our lives, teaches us a powerful lesson here. First off, let's get real. Everyone at some point craves a thumbs up from others. But here's the twist. Stoicism nudges us to flip the script. It's about looking inward for validation, not outward. Imagine your self-worth as a fortress. Why let someone else hold the keys? Now on to the practical stuff. How do you actually stop this approval-seeking mission? Start by recognizing your own achievements, no matter how small. Did you make your bed this morning? That's a win. Take a moment to appreciate these tiny victories. They add up. Trust me, it's like building a mental muscle, one where you're the coach and the cheerleader. And when you feel the urge to fish for compliments or likes on social media, pause. Ask yourself, am I doing this for me or for the gram? Here's a little stoic secret. Your opinion is the one that truly matters. Every day, try to do something that makes you proud, not for the applause, but for your own sense of achievement. It's about rewiring our brains to seek internal rather than external validation. Think of it as a mental decluttering. Less focus on others' opinions, more space for your own growth. It's not about becoming indifferent to others, but about being true to yourself. This shift in mindset is not just liberating, it's empowering. 8. Challenge yourself. Imagine you're climbing a mountain. It's steep, challenging, and at times you wonder why you even started. But here's the thing. Every step up that mountain makes you stronger, more resilient. Stoicism, a philosophy as old as the hills, yet as fresh as tomorrow's sunrise, tells us that life's true fulfillment comes from overcoming challenges, not avoiding them. So in 2024, let's turn our daily grind into our personal Everest. Now you might be thinking, easier said than done, right? Well, stoicism isn't about transforming overnight. It's about small, steady changes. Start by setting a goal that pushes your limits yet is achievable. It could be learning a new skill, improving your fitness, or even just reading a book a month. The key isn't the goal itself, but the growth that comes from reaching for it. Each small victory is a step up your mountain. Remember, climbing a mountain isn't a solo journey. Share your challenges and your victories with others. Stoicism teaches us the power of community and support. By sharing your journey, you not only gain allies, but also inspire others to start their own climbs. So as we step into 2024, let's challenge ourselves, support each other, and enjoy the view from our personal summits. Happy climbing. 9. Laugh more. Laughing more isn't just a cheerful suggestion. It's a cornerstone of a contented life, echoing the wisdom of the ancient Stoics. Take Chrysippus, a Stoic philosopher who reportedly died of laughter. While that's an extreme example, it underscores a profound truth. Laughter is a serious business. It's a tool that lightens our burdens and brings perspective to our challenges. Just imagine, for a moment, the absurdity of life's little dramas seen through a lens of humor. Your coffee spills, and instead of frustration, there's a chuckle about the universe's quirky timing. That's stoicism in action, reminding us that not everything deserves a furrowed brow. Now, how do you fit more laughter into the puzzle of modern life? It's simpler than you might think. Start by seeking the lighthearted side of daily situations. Traffic Jam? It's a chance to play your favorite comedy podcast. Tough day at work? Swap stories with friends about who had the most bizarre encounter. This isn't about ignoring life's complexities, but about choosing a joyful perspective. It's a practical, stoic approach. Control what you can your outlook and reaction, and let go of what you can't. Laughter is a shared melody. It connects us, making our collective journey a bit brighter. So next time you find something amusing, share it.
Be that person who brings a smile to others. Your laughter becomes a ripple, touching lives in ways you might never see. That's the essence of Stoicism, finding harmony within and spreading it outward. It's not just about enduring life stoically, but embracing it joyously. So go ahead, laugh a bit more. It's not just good for the soul, it's wisdom echoing through the ages. 10. Love your fate. Love your fate, it sounds like a tall order, right? Yet this is where the ancient wisdom of Stoicism intersects with our fast-paced, tech-savvy world. Stoicism isn't about suppressing emotions or enduring pain with a stiff upper lip. It's about embracing whatever life throws at you with a positive spirit. Think of it like surfing. Waves will come, big and small, but it's your skill in riding them that counts, not the size of the wave. So how do you love your fate in a world where your fate can include anything from a missed Uber to a critical email disappearing into the digital abyss? Start by reframing your mindset. When something doesn't go your way, see it as an opportunity to grow. Miss that Uber, it's a chance to take a brisk walk and enjoy some fresh air. Email vanished? Time to improve your tech skills. It's not about being blindly optimistic, but about finding the silver lining in every cloud. This approach is not just about making the best of a bad situation, it's about transforming challenges into stepping stones. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, wisely noted that what stands in the way becomes the way. This means that the very obstacles you face can pave your path to success. Next time your Wi-Fi acts up during an important call, instead of fuming, take a moment to appreciate the unplugged world. Maybe strike up a conversation with someone nearby, or jot down those creative ideas you've been postponing. In essence, loving your fate is about embracing life's unpredictable nature with agility and grace. It's choosing to dance in the rain instead of waiting for the storm to pass. As we step into 2024, remember, life is not just happening to you, it's happening for you. Every twist, turn, and tumble is an invitation to grow stronger, wiser, and happier. So surf those waves with a smile and watch how your world transforms. As we wrap up this journey through the principles of Stoicism and our quest for a happier 2024, remember? The power to shape your happiness lies within you. Like the ancient Stoics taught, focus on what's in your control, let go of what isn't, and embrace the present. Life's full of unexpected twists, but with a stoic mindset, you're equipped to navigate them with calm and wisdom. If you found value in our talks, please hit that like button, subscribe for more insights, and don't forget to ring the notification bell to stay updated.